Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is March the 21st, 2018, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market analysis where we are giving you all the news according to the charts. And you may be wondering, how are we doing this? Well, we do this by looking at the price bars and the volume. That's it. We're not going to show you guys any patterns, no shapes, no indicators, anything of that nature because it's not needed. Only thing that you need to understand about the cryptocurrency space or any other financial market is price bars and volume and what they mean in conjunction with one and another okay and that is the key to becoming a more profitable and a more confident trader and we've been showing you all this ever since 2017 so if you guys have some time we definitely got these videos posted on YouTube on our channel so go back check out our videos that we've done in the past and to see how precise and accurate we were in our analysis on a daily basis the next trading day okay so anything that is mentioned here on this video is not to be considered investment advice because we are not investment advisors we're simply here to give you all the news according to the charts how we see fit on where we expect these cryptocurrencies to move over the next trading day so you guys can definitely tell from our video yesterday we were forecasting these cryptocurrencies to move higher just to go right back to another prior area resistance and a lot of these cryptocurrencies have done just that on today so now we're going to go ahead and show you all where we are expecting the cryptocurrencies to move on tomorrow can tell you all that on some of these altcoins we definitely notice how the market is not being receptive to the resistance area that it ran into so some of these cryptos will definitely consolidate as it trades towards these areas of resistance and then it might even move back down to the downside but we'll talk about that more specifically as we get into each of these cryptocurrencies right now let's take a broad look at what we have going on in the cryptocurrency space market cap is coming right on back around 350 billion dollars in the whole space bitcoin dominance is still around 44 percent so not too much going on there some of these cryptocurrencies are definitely trading to the downside according to coinmarketcap.com bitcoin is down 0.27 ethereum is down almost a tenth of a percent uh, ripple is down almost four percent bitcoin cash as well is down 2.34 Litecoin is down 0.31. Looking at Cardano and EOS, those are definitely two out of the top 10 that are trending higher for today's trading. Uh, Cardano is up 6.58, as well as EOS up five and three quarters of a percent. The rest of the top 10 are trending lower in today's trading. So now let's go ahead and get into our analysis for today and let you all know what we're expecting to see in the cryptocurrency market. So currently on Bifinex, Bitcoin is down 0.79%. Last trade was $8,879.80. And we told you all yesterday that we were expecting this cryptocurrency to come right back towards $9,000 and it did that. And this is the last time that the market came and touched around $9,000. And you guys can see the result. Now we're not gonna say that's what's gonna happen now. But definitely we got stockpiles to come into the market and we are definitely noticing a divergence occurring between the price bars and their direction in which it is going and the volume in which it is going so definitely we are having a divergence going on for bitcoin right now which definitely tells us that the lack of higher prices is definitely being reflected on the daily price charts let's take a look at the three hour bars so now we're looking at the three hour bars for Bitcoin and looking at that last completed three hour bar. Definitely it's a change of tone bar market. Definitely pushed the price down for Bitcoin all the way down past $8,800. And all that volume that came into the market is definitely something that you need to pay attention to because as Bitcoin was moving higher, the volume is not even being reflected as it tries to break that $9,000 area. So it definitely tells us that the market participants has inundated Bitcoin with a lot of selling right here on this three hour bar. OK, so now we're waiting for confirmation on the current three hour bar, which is now forming. 
stockpile is still being reflected on that current three hour bar but if it closes above the previous close then definitely there are some buyers around that $8,800 area $8,800 area so at best expect Bitcoin to continue to trade sideways in the short term but do not take your eyes off of this particular bar three hour bar though so now let's go ahead and take a look at the one hour bar see if we see anything different so we're looking at the one hour bar for Bitcoin definitely lack of interest of prices came in on these one hour bars and we're still seeing weakness in Bitcoin at this present time uh, $8,900 is acting as support and resistance so if Bitcoin can break that $8,900 area then please expect the market to continue to move lower I can tell you all right now that we definitely are noticing how the market is consolidating simply going between $8,800 all the way up to $9,000 so the market can do that for the next couple of hours but given the fact that we're not seeing a lot of volume and we're seeing stockpile coming in precursors of weakness bars we're expecting bitcoin to commemor i'm sorry to resume to lower prices okay so let's take a look at the three hour bars to see where support could possibly be so if $8,800 is not going to hold as support for Bitcoin, then the next logical area is going to be in or around $8,600. So keep that in mind for Bitcoin as it tries to move back down to the downside. Now, if the bar closes above the previous close, remember I told you all that the market at best will continue to consolidate in the short term and we're expecting the market to move a little bit higher. Resistance though is going to be right there again at $9,000 now next on the list is going to be ethereum ethereum is up 0.28 percent last trade was 559 dollars and 31 cents daily price bar for ethereum again no volume is being reflected in the market but we did tell you all that we were expecting ethereum to move back to the upside around 600 dollars went all the way up to 590 and 11 cents stockpile is still currently coming in the market for ethereum so i told you all yesterday that it is a good sign that the market for ethereum has held 520 but we're still not ready for higher prices or at least a breakout move to higher prices for ethereum so again three hour bars for ethereum we got the same type of bar in ethereum that we just had in bitcoin so Devin tells you that that was a market move that occurred in the space overall for these cryptocurrencies the market currently though is still closing towards the high of this three hour bar so if that's going to be the case still expect ethereum to trade sideways in the short term it could come all the way back up to around 570 dollars right here when the market acted as support quick look at the one hour bar for ethereum so again, just like with Bitcoin, non inches and higher prices as Ethereum tried to break $590, it couldn't do it. So we have weakness coming in the market. Stockpile is coming in around $555 to $565. If we do not get any precursors of strength around those two price areas or in between, then expect Ethereum to resume to lower prices. Definitely we are getting stockpile coming in the market. Boy, at best, the market will consolidate because the buyers in the market are definitely trying to keep price above $575 if it can do that then the best that Ethereum will do is continue to consolidate and move maybe just a little bit higher might try that $570 price area just one more time but definitely we're not seeing a lot of precursors of strength in the market and non-interest in higher prices due to the lack of volume that we have in the space so in the short term we're still expecting Ethereum to trade sideways to maybe a little bit higher but if we start to see more because of the weakness, then yes, expect the market to move lower. But currently we're expecting just consolidation in the short term. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash currently is down 2%. Uh, last trade was $1,024.10. Daily price bar for Bitcoin Cash no interest in higher prices market tried to make it up towards eleven hundred dollars and it went all the way up to 1084 light volume is coming in the market so 
either that means that the interest in higher prices is definitely not there or the market is just not getting hit with a lot of stockpile currently so now we're looking at the three hour bars for bitcoin cash we still got that same type of bar for bitcoin cash just like we got with ethereum and bitcoin so like i said earlier a definite market move occurred overall in these altcoins we're not seeing a lot of interest in higher prices on the three hour bars even though this bar is closed above this previous close stockpile is still being noticed on that current three hour bar so again we're still looking for this cryptocurrency bitcoin cash to move to the downside uh, the one hour chart is giving us more because it's a weakness than strength albeit i would tell you that if the market can hold one thousand twenty dollars then at best consolidation will reign supreme in the short term for bitcoin cash but we definitely are noticing precursors of weakness in the market so if it breaks 1020 then our analysis is for bitcoin cash to continue to move to the downside as i zoom out you guys can see how 1020 held as resistance so now we're expected to hold that support but if it breaks that support then the next level for bitcoin cash can be around one thousand dollars okay in or around one thousand dollars so now let's take a look at ripple so ripple is down 3.54 percent last trade was around 67 cents i'm on 68 daily price bar for ripple is giving us more because of the weakness in the market so we're not ready for higher prices we didn't get the confirmation from the 19th of march market simply has been consolidating for the next two days including today's day 65 cents is a very important support area for ripple okay let's take a look at the three hour chart real quick to see what we have going on for ripple so looking at this particular chart you guys can expect consolidation to continue uh market can definitely fall back down to around 65 cents though in the short term uh resistance is there around 71 cents so that's the best that we're looking for in ripple i can tell you all that since the bar this current three hour bar is closing above the previous close that the market at best will continue to move a little bit higher in the short term possibly 69 or even 70 cents but then from there we will get more stockpile and push the market back down to lower prices then when that occurs we tell you all now that the 65 cents is not going to hold that support then the next level could be anywhere below that price the only thing that's keeping the market at least to a point to consolidation to consolidate is 65 cents let's take a look at the one hour bar so even the one hour bar is giving us precursors of weakness all the way around we're noticing stockpile market is trying to keep price above 65 cents or even around 65 cents i'm sorry 66 cents but this whole chart this one hour chart is giving us nothing but precursors of weakness not interest in higher prices so we're still expecting this cryptocurrency ripple to move lower now let's take a look at litecoin Litecoin is down three quarters of 1%. Last trade was $168.89. Non interest high prices is currently being reflected in Litecoin at the moment. Stockpile is definitely being revealed in the cryptocurrency space for Litecoin on a daily price chart. Three hour bars. Market came all the way up to around $175 and ran across resistance. And as I zoom out, you guys can definitely see where 175 has been acting as support here in the beginning of March. Litecoin tried it again and it got hit with resistance and stockpile and sellers in the market. So that's why Litecoin is moving to the downside. Three hour bar on the current one is definitely giving us a battle between the buyers and the sellers. So we have to move to a smaller time frame to see which one is actually winning out and right now the sellers are resistance is around 170 dollars stockpile is coming in um the one hour bar that is currently forming if it closes below the previous close of that one hour bar right here 
then expect Litecoin to continue to move to the downside. It may be a very quick move to once that actually occurs. So keep that in mind. $166 needs to hold that support. But if it doesn't, any price lower than that can definitely be support, like maybe around $164. If 166, it's not going to hold that support. Okay. So next on the list is going to be Dash. So Dash is down 1.49%. Last trade was $426.57. Daily price bar. You guys can definitely see how the market showed interest in higher prices early out in trading but now it is gone stockpile is definitely coming in the market to push the prices for DAS to the downside three hour bars for DAS is definitely another change of tone bar on this last completed three hour bar so even though we're consolidating getting stockpile in the market right now over the next couple of hours the market can definitely fall in DAS as well market needs to try to find support in or around $415, even $410 as the market continues to move to the downside. So we definitely are noticing more stockpiles still coming in the market, even though the bar currently is closed towards the, the higher than the close of this previous three hour bar. But nevertheless, stockpile is still coming in. So we're not out the woods yet for DAS moving to the downside. As the one hour bars is going to reflect to you all. We're definitely noticing weakness coming in on this one hour chart for Dash. If the current one hour bar closes below the previous close, then yes, weakness is still there. So we expect the market to continue to move to the downside. So now let's take a look at Neo. So Neo was down 5.47%. Last trade was $72.61. Daily price bar for Neo is giving us the same type of bar when Dash and Litecoin. You guys can definitely see that we don't have a lot of interest in higher prices. That resistance has held quite strong in Neo around that $80 area. The market definitely is going to give us a precursor of strength. It has to give us a precursor of strength in order to break that $80 price area. So right now, we're not going to move higher. We're expecting Neo to move to the downside or at best continue to consolidate. Market needs to hold support, though. I'll tell you now at $72. If it does not, it will be moving lower. Stockpile is still coming in on the three hour chart. And if it looks the way that it looks now, then we're still expecting Neo to move to the downside or at best consolidation to continue until it breaks and move to the downside. But our analysis for Neo is for them to move lower. So next on the list is going to be Monero. So Monero is down 4.44%. Last trade was $218.28. So this is another cryptocurrency that has given us interest in higher prices early on in trading, but now we're closing back in the low or towards the low of today's daily price bar which tells us that the market for Monero again on a daily price chart is not ready for higher prices. Now buyers currently possibly came in on this three hour bar. That's why the bar currently is closed above the previous close. But I, you guys can see that $220 has been acting as resistance here in the background. So it might act as resistance again in order for Monero to move to the upside. It has to break 220. So that's two things that is going against this cryptocurrency for moving higher. It is that price to go down bar and as well as that resistance area of $220. Those are two strikes already against Monero for them to move higher. So at best consolidation will occur in Monero. Resistance is going to be around 220 support 210 and maybe just a tad lower than that, uh, possibly all the way down to $205. So let's make a, Let's take a look at a smaller time frame. So even on the one hour charts, we're not seeing a lot of interest in higher prices in Monero at the moment. So our analysis is for them to at least move to the downside, uh, possibly test 216 to even $212. Those are the crucial support areas in order for them to at least resume consolidation. But if it breaks those two price areas, then yes, 
anything lower than 212 is game for the support area. So the last one for today is going to be Cardano. Take a look at the daily price chart for Cardano. We haven't done this cryptocurrency in some time now, so we just thought we'll do it again today. Uh, you guys can see on the 18th and 19th of March, a lot of volume came in on both of these two days, letting us know that support is going to hold strong around 15 cents. Okay, but right now we're still noticing that we're getting stockpile in Cardano around 20 cents all the way up to 23 cents. It's simply going through all of this business transactions right here in the background. That's all that is going on right now. So at best, the market for Cardano tomorrow can definitely consolidate again in trading. So looking at the three hour bars for Cardano, this is all of this transaction that we have to go through in order for this cryptocurrency to move higher right now, stockpile or a huge, a lot of volatility is going on in this current three hour bar that we need to pay attention to. Stockpile and buyers are trying to keep Cardano trading around 21 cents. Let's move it to a smaller time frame for Cardano. So looking at the one hour bars for Cardano, again, we definitely had weakness in the market. Market participants, I think they're going to try to bring it back up to 21 and a half cents or even around 22 cents in the short term. But we're not seeing that much interest, that much volume coming in for Cardano to move to the upside. Still expecting this cryptocurrency at best to consolidate to moving lower. OK, so that's going to be our analysis in tomorrow's trading. The market in order for Cardano to move higher is going to have to break. 21 cents almost 22 cents in tomorrow's trade if it does that then yes we're expecting the cryptocurrency space to move higher for ada but currently expect consolidation to even a little bit back down to the downside so okay that's all we have for today march the 21st 2018 quick recap everyone let you let you notice what we've seen on these charts uh, weakness is definitely being revealed on the one hour, three hour, and on some of these daily price bars, especially on the three hour bars. The last completed three hour bars to change the tone bar. So even though we have close above the close on that completed three hour bar, the best that we're going to get is just consolidation in the short term. That's what we're expecting. And then after that, uh, we're expecting more stockpile to come in the market just to put these crypt push these cryptocurrencies back down. A little bit lower it can move a lot lower than that given the that change of tone three hour bar that we see on these charts so i'm talking about this three hour chart right here this three hour bar right here it's a change in tone definitely let us know that something changed in the market so that's why our analysis is for majority of these cryptocurrencies to move lower some may move all the way completely to the support area on the daily price chart that major support area on the day on the daily price chart some may may just move a couple of percentage points down and that's it and in fact catch the support and move higher from there but definitely we're noticing precursors of weakness on these altcoins okay so that's all i have for today appreciate everyone who continues to support this channel who continues to watch and give us positive criticism is always expected and much needed everyone stay profitable and i will talk to you all later